What if I told you there is a way to find diamonds using simple math? Until this point, mining diamonds and how many you find them is pretty random. There is no certain way you are guaranteed to find them. Like sometimes you can strip mine for 10 or 15 minutes without finding any. Now, there is a simple way you can find them using math. And I don't mean like mining diamonds at Y level 13 or something. I mean like finding a certain spot in the river, then mining straight down and finding diamonds like almost always. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this simple method to get hundreds of diamonds per hour by just doing simple math. This is all thanks to the user Matthew Bolan who found this, so huge credit to him and I'll leave a link to his full explanation video down below. So this method works especially well in swamps, but it also works in the rivers. So first I will tell the swamp method and then I will show you the river method. But also at the end of this video I will do a one hour test to see how many diamonds I can find using this method. So first the swamp method. This works on all swamps, but the more water there is, the better. Since we're gonna use the clay patches that are in here to get the right location to find diamonds. As you can see, clay is usually in a circle pattern. Now mark out the center of the clay patch. And after you have done that, make sure you enable your chunk borders by pressing F3 plus G. Now you can see where the chunk starts and ends. This is very important to know. Next up, position yourself that you can move forwards in the positive Z axis. Or just look south. This is the way you need to move forward. Place exactly 6 blocks next to the center block of the clay patch. And the 7th block is where you need to mine down from. But what if you run into the junk border? Well, then you need to go back to the other side of the junk and continue counting from there. Let me show you. I marked out the center point of this clay patch, then starting to move south, but I can only place 2 blocks before I get to the junk border. So I just go back to the other side and count the 4 blocks from there. And now as I have placed 6 blocks, the 7th block here is where I can mine down from. So let's mine down and see if we can find something. And when we get to the diamond level, would you look at that, we got diamonds. A good tip would be to use fire resistant potions when doing this. Since you can dig straight into the lava and at least that way you can survive. But let's try it out again. Marking out the center point, then looking south and going 6 blocks forward. And then on the 7th block we go down and boom, we find diamonds again. How crazy is that? This method actually works on 87.5% of the seeds, so the rest of 12.5% you will need to dig down right from the middle of the clay patch. But when mining from the middle, you only have a 50% of chance to find those. So that means you can either be lucky and have a good world with a good seed where you can just go 7 blocks out and mine and get the diamonds every time. Or you have a Minecraft world with a bad seed where you need to dig straight down from the middle and you only get diamonds half of the time. Also a quick tip, if you are counting your blocks forward and the place where you need to dig down from is right next to the chunk border, you might not find diamonds there. Instead you might need to go one block forward. So that means go to the opposite side of the chunk and mine down from there. So just keep that in mind, in case you are digging down right next to the chunk border. Now the swamp method is probably the best one, because just have a look at how many clay patches there are. And if you are on the good seed, then all of them have diamonds below. I am really interested to show you how many diamonds I can find in one hour, but we'll see that a bit later on. Now the method to find diamonds in the river when using clay patches. Again there are clay patches in the rivers just like in the swamps. For this find the clay patches in the river then mark out the center of it. And also make sure you still have the chunk borders enabled since this is important. Now you will need to place one block forward in the positive Z direction. Or just look south and place one block that way. Right after this block mine straight down and you should be able to find diamonds. And as you can see, I have found diamonds again. How easy is this? Of course, there are not many clay patches in the rivers, so this is why swamps are way better place to do that. Let's say you are counting and the junk border comes in the way. 
you will need to start counting on the other side of the chunk as before. I will show you an example. This is the center point and as you can see if I start going south the chunk border is right next to it. So I will go to the opposite side of the chunk and count one block from there and then dig down on the next one. And here are the diamonds again. And the same thing applies as before. If the place you need to dig down from is right next to the chunk border, you may also need to dig from the opposite side. The next method is using gravel patches in the rivers to find diamonds. Usually there are way more gravel patches in rivers than the clay ones, so this is pretty good. To find them, again, mark out the center of the gravel patch. Gravel patches can be pretty big, but it still works for them, just so you know. After marking out the center, just go one block in the negative C direction. That means when looking north, you will need to place one block that way, and the block after that is the place you're gonna mine down from. And remember, all the same things apply here as well. If you run into the chunk border, continue on the other side. Or if your diamond spot is right next to the chunk border, also try on the opposite side. But as you can see, here I am marking out the center of this gravel patch, then I get to place one block in the north direction, then dig down, and we get to the diamond level and find diamonds, <laughs> of course. So, let me do a quick recap of all the three methods that I showcased, then I will do a one hour AFK test to see how many diamonds you can actually find when doing this. First was the clay patches method in swamps. For that you needed to go 6 blocks in the positive Z direction, or just make sure you are facing south. Then dig down on the 7th block and you should be able to find diamonds. Then I showed you the clay patches method but in the reverse. For this, go one block in the positive Z direction or just face south and then mine down on the second block and if everything is right, you should be able to find diamonds. And the last way was to use gravel patches in the rivers. For that, place one block in the negative Z direction or just make sure to face north. Then mine down on the second block until you find diamonds. But now, let me grab my big axes and fire resistant potions and I will test out this method for exactly one hour to see how many diamonds I can find. So let's start the timer and I will get to mining. So during this one hour I only visited swamps, because there are way bigger areas of water that is just full of clay patches and I am able to find tons of diamonds that is all really close to each other. Also I was saved quite a few times by the fire resistant potions. So make sure you guys grab those when doing this. But the hour is over and let's see how many diamonds did I find. So let me place down all the diamond ores that I have. And there is a lot. A total of 161 diamond ores all found in just one hour. So let me grab my fortune tree pickaxe and mine all of those to get the final number. And my final end result is 349 diamonds in just one hour. How crazy is that? And that converts to over 38 diamond blocks that you can make from this. Or make yourself a ton of armor. Overall this method is just crazy and I am so surprised it works that well. So make sure to try it out in your own world and let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Also make sure to check out Matthew Bolan who found this method, his video is linked down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, see ya!